Yeah, 12 cylinders of luxury automobile right here. Look at that. So you're not going to hear much. It's a Lincoln. I guess contact. Hey, this is Steve, and today I'm with my, my new friend Jim here in his 1941 Lincoln Zephyr convertible. It's just beautiful, beautiful car. And I saw from the uh, description that it was once a it was hot rodded at one time, at and one time it had a 327 Chevrolet motor in it. Wow! And did you bring it back? Yeah, I bought a hardtop, uh, wow. a four door, and we swapped it out and sold the hardtop with the Chevy motor in it and put the V12 back in this. <laughs> Brilliant! Because we knew how rare this one is. Yeah. Yeah, they 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 only know 16 in existence. Wow, but I mean, I, I I see every once in a while I see a coupe, sometimes a sedan, but the cabriolet like this is just uh, really yeah. unusual. It struck me. I mean, walking around, I'm like, wow, what's that doing here? <laughs> yeah. Well, the the Lincoln Club here, uh, I belong to them. I don't own one of those, but uh -huh. I have three or four odd Lincolns, uh -huh. so they always ask me to bring one of them for the center. Yeah, they're a nice bunch of fellas. I talked yeah. talk to some of them. Just. Yeah. It just is just uh, just beautiful. What uh, what drew you to, to uh, the the Zephyr? I mean, to me, it's just the styling is just incredible. When I was a kid, six or seven years old, my father told me of a customer that he had that had a green Lincoln, and he was going to take me to see it someday, and never did. So I was at my first car show, and some guy walked up and he says, "Are you Joe Sendis' son?" And I said, "Yeah." And he goes, "I'm Mr. I'm Bob. I have the old." Green Lincoln. Can I see it? So I went to see it and had the 327 Chevy in it. And I said, What'd you do that for? And he said, Monument to my stupidity. And I said, <laughs> Okay, so let's swap it back. So we swapped it back. And later in years, the engine needed to be rebuilt. And he was too cheap to do it. And he said, Besides, it's in my will. It's yours. And I said, Well, why do you wow. have to be dead to give it to me? <laughs> and he says, Well, I suppose you could have it. And I said, I'll be back next week and pick it up. Wow. So I brought it home and restored the whole thing again. That's fantastic. Which was fun. It was nice to see him see it restored again. Yeah. And then when I moved to California, I took it to Hillsboro and he flew out to be there when it was at Hillsboro. So that was kind of fun. The, what's the, um, do you know what the name of this beautiful green is? Beetle green. <laughs> I know this, it doesn't sound like a very elegant name for such an elegant car to have the, the color be beetle green. Um, but damn, it's it's just an, it's just amazing. Yeah. <laughs> Steve, you want to hear it run? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. If I know these Lincolns, though, there's not much to hear. They're pretty quiet. Quiet is the word. I'll open the hood. It's ridiculous. Yeah. You put your bike in there and they won't hear it. Yeah, 12 cylinders of luxury automobile right here. Look at that. So you're not going to hear much. It's a Lincoln. I guess contact. Look at that thing. I'm hearing just a little bit of the fan belt and the fan. That's about it. The engine's almost completely silent. And they're silent out the tailpipe, too. They have, like, no sound. There's hardly anything. Just a little low burble. That is amazing. Yeah. That makes it so smooth. The small cylinders after. for smoothness. After smooth and quiet. Yeah. It was not a hot rod. Yeah. And they Lincoln held on to the 12 cylinder all the way through what 48 with the. Yeah. 36 to 48. Yeah. But what's interesting is you turn it off. You turn the key. Now you've locked the steering wheel. And you take the key out. The steering wheel's locked. That's really advanced so, feature. Yeah, you know, nothing is, is new again. And then on the floor, you see there's two buttons on the floor. Yep. One's for the high beam, and the other one changes the radio station. 
Yep. I remember ca later, later Cadillacs would have that in the 50s too for a while. Yeah, they did. Yeah. I think I. Yeah. Is it. You know, everything's so deco. It's designed. It's, uh, I guess, Edsel Ford's yeah, masterpiece, you know. I wanted to bring it to the deco show, and the lady says, Oh, it's a 41. Deco stopped in 39. <laughs> so when do you think the car was designed? Yeah. You know, it was designed in 35. So, I mean. Well, I don't think any, any design element came to a screeching halt with a calendar, did it? Not that I know of. <laughs> they just kept. Kept milking the design. You know? Yeah, I mean, streamline, modern, so, yeah. uh, Art Deco, and it's all it, the same. When it era. got the 42, it really got like 42 hood ornaments. Yeah, well, that's unique. I will have one someday. <laughs> right now, I can't afford one, but I will have one someday. Good. Three window coupe. Yeah, I love those. The, the trunk lids are just so yeah, long. It's just beautiful. Yeah, it's a really unique design. And so is this. This is just beautiful. Well, thanks, Jim, for showing us your beautiful Lincoln 12-cylinder. Thanks for coming uh, Zephyr. By. Yeah, I appreciate it. All righty. We'll see you next time. I'll okay. be here next time with a different Lincoln. Convertible. Okay, I'll be, I'll be looking for it. Okay. <laughs> Catch you next time in the garage. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks. Okay,